That's exactly right there, Jessica. In fact, we're here at the American Pub right now. You can see the bar is pretty quiet, but it will be a much different scene in just a few hours. Hundreds of people expected to watch the debate here at the American Pub, and they'll just be a few of the 100 million expected total viewers. And to give you some perspective, that 100 million number is about twice the population of South Korea. Monday night, forget about beer and football. How about a so-called bipartisan martini and a presidential debate? And when you mix it together, it certainly uh, gets along with each other, for sure. Jerry Connor, co-owner of American Pub in Center City, says he's expecting a big turnout. Around 200, 250 people. The political watchdog group committee of 70 is hosting a viewing party for the first one-on-one -on -one match between Clinton and Trump. Experts say more than 100 million people could tune in. That's about one in three Americans, numbers that rival the average viewership of a Super Bowl. Yeah. But you're definitely watching it tonight. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, we're already ready. Randy Larson already knows who he's voting for, but is watching the debate for the entertainment value. Probably more like a cage match right now. We'll see, see who wins. Voter Peggy Martin, though, will you be watching? I plan on it. Is tuning in to help decide who she'll vote for in November. It's two people, one who's really unqualified, in my opinion, and another one who I'm not sure that I trust. And finally, there is Paul Soshin. What's your plan for this evening? Um, probably have no intention on watching. Who says he's fed up with the reality show nature of the debate and plans to watch something else instead. I'll find other entertainment, maybe a football game or something. But surprisingly, Monday night, Paul may be in the minority. This debate is going against Monday Night Football, and Monday Night Football doesn't have a chance. Now, once again, back here live, I can tell you around 8 o'clock tonight, the political watchdog group committee of 70 is going to host the watch party right here. Now, coming up tonight at 6 on CBS 3, we actually spoke with a body language expert. You'll hear what she has to say both candidates have to do if they want to be considered the winner. We're live here in Center City. I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.